Hi, this is High Templar with my Total War Warhammer multiplayer battles. I just paused here because action is starting just right away after the start. So I have, I'm playing Chaos against uh, um, against Vampire Counts, and I have core with four Chaos Warriors, which I thought is enough. I was wrong. And there, there is three Chaos Murderers on each flank, and two Forsaken on, on each flank. And I have uh, Poison Warhounds, and Gordy's Chariot, which I've misused. And I have, obviously, a Dead Sorcerer on horse, because it's cheap. No, he's actually on foot in, the, in, this, in, in, in this particular battle. I thought I didn't need to. I, will be, I thought I would be screening, uh, sc screening him with some other troops and then I've noticed that this guy has no flying troops so no need to worry about that this army has 5 skeleton spearmen and there is 4 cane rides followed by 4 crit horrors and he actually has a banshee, a necromancer and this guy so Lots of heroes here, lots of magic will be used on their side. Winds of magic are pretty good. I only have that wizard. So I'm obviously starting to flank. Those guys got confused because of the rock. I'm hard grouping those guys. And obviously... What is interesting that Necromancer is bleeding the charge, which is just hilarious. I'm charging, they're charging. Now... Look at what will happen right now. This is very sturdy unit. Chaos Warriors, I mean those guys rock, right? And then, now, they are flying, absolutely flying. Those guys practically got through my units of Chaos Warriors. I'm casting, obviously, a Spirit Leech and flanking with those all those units here, getting my Gorby's Chariots inside their units. And this is going splendidly, as you can see. However, I didn't got the unit back, and that was a problem. You see, those spearmen are absolutely trashed there. They are starting to break. And then I'm following with my Poison Warhounds, more because I want to decrease their abilities, poison them, decrease their ability to fight me, than to do anything else. And here I'm throwing those Chaos Murders and Forsaken on the flanks to completely engulf my enemy. But he's breaking through the center and I thought this is enough to stop him. I was wrong. Staying with my wizard and trying to wreck his uh, leader. And I haven't gotten this uh, chariots out of it, which will cost me a lot, but not a victory. Lately I've been winning most of the battles. I'm not the best player, but lately I've been winning most of them. And at this point of the battle I thought this is the end. As you can see those guys are breaking, those guys are breaking, and I have absolutely engulf this guy and I have units on the both flanks I just need to close it however this guy is starting to go after my uh, lord so I'm trying to I'm trying to do something about it this guy is still alive, unfortunately. Trying to get this unit to get back. And I'm forgetting all those units for some reason. 
Oh yeah, I'm trying to cast a spell here, and I did. He's regenerating, so I'm trying to leech him again. I'm still staying with this Gorby's Chariot. If I would get him away and run him, and get him away and run him, I would do a lot of damage. Those guys are healing themselves. But I'm leeching again. He has enough health to cause me troubles. I didn't want to use my units. So as you can see I'm getting back my units into the fight and I've killed this guy. And this is yet again a moment when I think this is the end. As you can see I'm getting my guys to... Finally getting my Gorby's Chariots way too late out of this fight. As you can see most of the health is gone. Those guys are going after my leader, so I'm trying to get him catch those guys with my Chaos Warriors and Warhounds and get just outside of a fight. But here is Banshee coming and some Kane Rides, and I'm not using those units to follow, so the morale of my leader will be destroyed right now, as you can see. So now I'm will now I will try to get the situation under control with pulling all those units into the fight and trying to catch those guys before they will uh, destroy my leader. That was an excellent move on the on my enemy. Um, by my enemy. I, uh, if he would keep on me, he would chase me out of the battle and that would be the end of it. Here as you can see those Forsaken and Chaos Murders completely destroyed Crypt Horrors and they are getting in. I'm getting with my Gorby's Chariot again and it was good, but I should be... Uh, I'm trying to again engulf him in my units, as you can see. I should have pulled him out. This is very good unit if you use it correctly. I didn't use it correctly. Leeching the Banshee now. My units are running away, they are supporting with spells, one more time with Gorby's Chariot, but it I mean, immediately it broke, trying to get things working. I was try I was uh, retreating to get those, back those guys back in the fight, and then I wanted to come again to use my aura. That was my mistake to get away from it, I should have just keep my aura here to get those guys increase their morale and now I will be trying I got him into the fight which was again a mistake because his morale will break very quickly extremely quickly and I wouldn't be able to cast a spell which I'm trying to do right now and my lord is again r trying to run away but the enemy units are crumbling very fast and when I am starting to cast the last Spirit Leech, it is all but over. So, those guys were used in flanking, they didn't do de it very well, but they did much better than Skeleton Spearmen, which, which they were used against. Forsaken absolutely broke through, through their rank ranks. My Chaos Warriors did... They didn't, they, they didn't actually did what I wanted them to do. I should have packed those units more... Uh, I should have packed those units um, in uh, more ranks deep to stop the enemy, basically. So they wouldn't break and reinforce with Forsaken more quickly. And my Gorby's Chariot, obviously. Still won, but you can see great uh, the damage on those uh, great damage done by those Crypt Warriors and Kane Rides. The Skeleton Spearmen did what they were supposed to do, they died. And uh, 
as much as those guys didn't kill many troops, they were supporting those armies very well. Banshee was scaring the hell out of my lord. So, um, good game uh, for my opponent. And that was tough. Um, so, thank you for watching. If you did like it, press like. If you want to comment, please leave a comment. And I also would like to recommend my Let's Plays in Total War Warhammer with Legendary Green Skins and Chaos Warriors campaigns. And Total War Run 2 and Fallout for Survival. Thank you for watching. Bye.